Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? Maybe to be a little more explicit, a little more censored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? Now, let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now... Unfortunately, a young man by the name of Avante Holmes, a.k.a. Chinaman of Chris World, has been shot and killed in Parkway Gardens, a.k.a. O'Block. Now, it said that the 21-year-old was shot and suffered a gunshot wound to the head and was pronounced dead as he was taken to the hospital. Now, not to be confused, some people are wondering if he was actually from O'Block, but he wasn't. The incident just happened to have taken place in O'Block. Now, his reason for being in O'Block is unclear. However, his set is Chris World. It's affiliated with O'Block. They cool. So I'm sure that's pretty much how he's tied with O'Block in general. Some say he was even affiliated with Zell. Not to mention, he isn't just a random dude because Shoebox Baby took to his Instagram account after the news came out and showed his love by posting his picture with the tearful emoji in his Instagram story. Now, um, here's what the article said. The article says, quote, 21-year-old Avante Holmes has been identified as a young male shot and killed on 63rd and King Drive. On Monday evening, January 9th, 2023, Chicago police reported to a shot spotter alert and calls of a person shot inside the gated community of Parkway Gardens, a.k.a. O'Block. When they arrived, they found Avante Holmes laying on the sidewalk with a gunshot wound to the head. He was taken to U of C, where he was pronounced deceased. CPD has no suspect in custody as Area 1 detectives are investigating. Now, um, once again, it's unclear if he was even the target or what led to him being shot and killed. But one thing I can say is right now, O'Block is on fire. If you're not from O'Block, do not go to O'Block. Um, they into it within themselves right now. So I could just imagine how they feel about anybody else that's not from O'Block. You know, um, not saying it was a backdoor situation, but just yesterday during Lil Varney's story, he mentioned that it's too much backdoor stuff going on. You know, and for him to say that, and then this happened on the same day he said it, come on. You know, who knows what's going on? You know, I'm pretty sure um, residents of O Block know more of what's going on. It just is what it is, man. It seemed like things are getting out of hand over there, and. This is just another situation to confirm it. Now, this kid was only 21. He barely lived life, and now he's gone. And I don't know how true it is, but some people say it happened outside the gates or close to the gates, or he was trying to get back into the gates. Who knows? Maybe it was a drive-by. Maybe it was mistaken identity. I don't know, but for O'Block to have cameras, the police never really know what's going on, man. It's kind of sad. Um, Once again, rest in peace to China, man. Um, condolences to his family. Y'all jump in the comments and know how you feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.